Hello there, and welcome to some Crusader Kings Free. Today we're we'll starting a campaign with the Mirianu Bronze Age mod. And we're going to be starting in the uh, timestamp of the eruption of Fera. On the island of Crete in the Aegean Sea, the Minoan culture has developed to new heights and established colonies near and far with the nearby island of Fera among them. But out of nowhere, with no forewarning, the dormant volcano on Fera erupted, devastating not just the island itself but also the surrounding islands in a merciless tsunami. After the flaming boulders, rivers of lava and crushing tsunami had receded, the problems had only just started as the volcano still spewed out unmanageable amounts of dust particles into the atmosphere, blotting out the sun and ravaging crops for a whole year. The advanced civilizations of the Aegean had surely been cursed by the gods, as now would be an even more perfect time for the newly arrived Achaeans and Mycenae to expand even further to the islands of the Aegean and beyond. We'll be starting as High King Argolis, the uh, Achaean man here of the Mycenaean faith. This is a Hellenistic faith and we'll be playing in Iron Man mode. Perseus here, the founder and Wanax of Mycenae, born to the, the ancestral relations between Protoss and his sister Dene. You took the land rightfully yours from your grandfather after he banished you. Will you continue your conquest to unite all of the Achaeans under one Wanax and make Mycenae the centre of it all? I think I will. Let's get straight to this in Iron Man mode, of course, and let's have a look at the realm. Now, we are... We are of uh, this faith here. We cover most of this area, so we want to uh, keep these guys nice and close to us. I think they're all uh, Hellenistic, however, so we don't really have to worry about that. Cultures, these are the Achaeans. I think what we do want to do is go ahead and try to unite all of these people under our banner. The map is uh, very detailed. There's lots of small little counties around here and such. Makes it huge, whereas Greece in the uh, vanilla Crusader King tree is not terribly big. This is the map. Quite big, goes all the way down into the uh, Middle East. You probably have Babylon down here somewhere. I wouldn't know exactly which position it is. Over this way, you get more into uh, Arabia. And then, of course, over here you have Egypt, which was very big and uh, important back in these days. Pharaohs might play as them at some other point. And, of course, you have a bit of North Africa. But we are concentrating down here. Our character, he follows uh, this faith. You know that. Hellenistic, I believe they all are. Stats are pretty useless. That might be due to randomizing. I'm not entirely sure. We're an indulgent Westral. We are fickle, shy, and calm. Seeing the backstory of how we uh, took our land from our grandfather after he banished us, I thought we might be ambitious, perhaps. Not calm, shy, and fickle. This uh, seems a bit, a bit of nonsense, really. The uh, dynasty of Danaios. I'm not sure if that is the correct dynasty there. When we uh, went to start, it did have a uh, placeholder in position. Let's have a look at Crete as well. The uh, yeah, they have their things there. Well, we'll keep the uh, we'll keep the dynasty how it is. Um, shame about the sigil. Can we change that? No, we can only change the name. All well, that's a shame. Six living members. That is uh, all six members. Free living. That is me, my mother and cousin, and then my uh, brother. Of course, my mother is also my cousin. Why would she not be? Let's have a look at our position. Then. So we have a lot of prestige, a bit of gold, lots of gold income. Quite a bit of piety and some renown. Our levies are quite low. They will, of course, recalculate after we press play. Hequitai. These are our version of knights. We do have vassals taking these positions. There's some guests we could recruit, but because I'm shy, inviting people to court causes, causes me stress. How am I going to be a king? I'm sure this is due to uh, randomization here, but we'll play with what we've got. We have the Achaean culture. We are currently in the middle of Bronze Age, not the early or late or... Early Iron Age, actually. We know about swords. Well, that's all well and gra uh, great. Are we the head of our culture? Yes, we are. Artificial reservoirs. Agricultural buildings. Law code. Popular opinion plus five. Well, I like the idea of having some of that. Designated air. We already have. Well, that's good. Empowered aristocracy. Let's take that. We'll try and get people to like us a little bit more. There is also our religion here. The... Uh, my sayings, I'm probably going to pronounce a lot of these things incorrectly, it's just uh, the way it is really. I have not spent a long time researching into this period of history. I know about Troy and the Iliad, but that's about it really. Virtues of our religion, uh, being reclusive, possessed, 
and a lunatic is a virtue, and just, brave, and temperate, whereas being arbitrary, craven, and gluttonous are sins. Theocratic religion, male-dominated and righteous, our tenets are oracles, sacred groves, and Aegean synectism. We consider other Aegean faiths to be astray instead of hostile or evil. We can have co uh, co consorts and concubines. We can always divorce. We allowed co uh, cousin marriage. No bastards. Bastards do not exist. There is no such thing. All children are equally legitimate. Same sex relations is accepted. Deviancy is shunned. Male adultery is accepted. Female adultery is criminal, so we got that going for us. Killing close kin is criminal. Witchcraft is criminal. Infanticide is freely practiced. We can kill off our own children. Excellent. Clergy goes for arms and pacification. Uh, clerical can be either gender. Appointment spiritual and for life. And then clerical marriage is allowed. Very good. Let's get to it. So we have no lifestyle focus chosen. We are going to be trying to take over some realm. We are, however, mostly into intrigue. But we had an education focus. It, now this really makes sense. I, I have an education focus. Are you sure my education level is at zero for the position? So let's go ahead with... Let's go with Intrigue. And let's go with uh, Fertility, perhaps. Because I think if we have a look over at the realm here, Succession is through Primogeniture, so we don't have to worry about my uh, realms being split up terribly. I do have a wife. She's a lowborn and 15 years old. She is not the mother of my son. My son has a mother, though. And it is this unmarried woman here. She had a spouse, but he died... In the future. Oh no, BC works backwards, of course. He died four years ago. She, however, we cannot get a match for because she's in his court. Is he a lord? Looks like he is a lord. He has three titles down here. Hopefully, he does good with them. So, I can't arrange him a marriage. Is that what you're saying here? I have a high shaman. He would accept that match, but no, we want to be able to pick him somebody better. Hopefully, he does so himself because I can't personally find him anyone. Oh, well, let's have a look at our issues here. We can have... We have too few men. We can negotiate an alliance with whom? Oh, my son. Oh, we'll do that. We can declare wars. We can vassalize this man over here. I believe it is this man, which makes perfect sense. We'll go ahead and vassalize him. I to inherit titles. First in line to inherit that. And we can take concubines. We have my mother. I could take my own mother as a concubine. I will not be doing so. We'll simply take our high shaman as a concubine, though. No. Excellent. I'm sure she'll do a great job. Let's go and have a look at our council. We have many members here. We're going to get you to fabricate a claim down here. I want to start expanding, and fabricating claims is one of the best ways to do it. It will only take eight months, which is quite good. The Chancellor here will have him cover foreign, no, domestic affairs. Our steward, we can have him promote culture, but we already have everywhere on our cultures. Let's have him collect tax. Our spy master, he can find secrets, perhaps. Let's go for fine secrets. I wouldn't mind having hooks on a lot of people in our court. And then there is our marshal who is organising the levies. Good, that's all I want from him. Excellent. Well, let's get to the game and let's unpause. Hopefully we can have a good bit of fun here. Hopefully there's some uh, flavourful events that can arise. Excellent. You are now my liege and will surely be straight on to the front line. Yes, he is a heck wet eye or hero is the word here. A hero is a character who joins your army to fight alongside your soldiers. All excellent. And of course, my son has accepted my alliance there. So our levies have gone all the way up. These chaps are all doing whatever it is they do. Is there anywhere I can declare war? I can, but you see these wars, it is only a raiding expedition. We are not too interested in that. I want truces with people. I want to be taking them over. Although we could always go for raiding parties somewhere like... Uh, Athens over here. If we were to besiege them and take a lot of money, we could develop our own realm a lot more. It cost me a lot of prestige. And we would gain approximately half of it back with a load of money. We gain a lot of money though, so I'm not too interested in losing my forces going to war with this man. Let's have a look at our courts. Not really uh, factions, nothing there. Intrigue, decisions. Not much uh, showing up there at the moment. But let's go to our court. Our court. Let's go for unmarried people. And let's see if we can use these women here to get some great heroes over. Why can we not arrange a marriage? We can for you. We can for you. Well, let's still uh, invite them over some women. Is there anybody lustful, perhaps? Only one, Daphne. We'll invite her over. Hopefully they will create an heir there. 
There was you, and there was you. Let's go in and find you, a woman. Of course, we cannot go for lustful. Let's go for fertile, of course, and callous. Is Alison calm? Let's just invite her over. There's no real reason to look for other people. They could look for inheritable traits, really, but I'm fine with that. Excellent. Marriage proposals are accepted. Hopefully, our knights will be able to breed us some more knights for in the future. I'm not endorsed by my shaman. She does not like me. She is my concubine, however, so I'm surprised she wouldn't like me. Let's go ahead and... I could appoint her as the court physician. She's quite learned, so we'll do that. Now she likes me. Very good. That'll help us out a ton when it comes to ruling our realm. Let's go a bit full speed ahead until we get the claim, and then we will be declaring war on this man here. Greetings. Despite our best efforts, my agents have yet to uncover any secrets here. I'm sure we'll find something if there is something to be found. Hopefully we can have enough money to go through with these claims. A proposed alliance, you say. Who is this? This is... This man over here. I'm going to decline because I don't want to be allying people I want to take over. Now we can get an unpressed claim here and we do just about have enough money if we wait a few days. Good. So let's get straight to it. I'm going to declare war on this man who has 55 military strength and yeah, we're going to take him over going to press our claims. It's going to take a bit of prestige, but we'll be perfectly fine with that. I'm going to get the cancel now to go and fabricate a claim somewhere else. Uh, I'm not sure where would be best. Let's go along the coast. Let's try to take that place. And what we want to do is get our army raised. We want to have our forces raised around here. I don't have any mana times at the moment. They cost money. And I'd rather keep my money for now because of the, uh, the claims which we just bought, as you can see there. Actually, we do have eight heroes. I'm sure they'll be able to do the job required of them. The enemy here doesn't exactly have anyone to fight for them. Farewell, well, you know best. Let's uh, put him onto disrupting schemes instead. This won't be too hard. Five odd months, sure. These two men are going on a little bit of a journey, are they? So we're not going to worry about lowering the speed because this war will be over very, very shortly. Pregnancy! My wife, Guazela, is bearing my child eggs since I cannot wait to hold this babe in my arms. She is trusting, generous, and humble. I'm sure she'll make a terrific mother. Excellent. We have captured the main man here. Is there a way to actually ransom him before? Because I'm already going to have 100%. Let's not simply release him. Let's take his money first. Anybody else a prisoner? There is his child. I don't, he doesn't have any more money, does he? No. Okay, so let's just uh, enforce peace here. Excellent. We hold this land personally, so good for us. Hopefully you'll be done soon enough. Yeah, three months. Three months and we're going straight back to war, but over this way. So let's go and uh, move Rally Point over to here, and we'll be able to just simply march in and take this other province. Showing off, this morning I had a delightful encounter with a charming young servant. We joked, we laughed, and we partied with... Oh, we partied with glad hearts. All because I made the effort to be somewhat more personable. Perhaps I could apply this vow of flirtatiousness. Confidence to more than just my personal affairs. This is all beneath me. I would rather lose shy if I can, but none of these things will lose me shy. I could gain uh, awkwardness, I believe, uh, tactical, or just gain prestige straight away. Um, let's go with a bit of role playing here. We're going to uh, say this is beneath me and remain shy. It's a shame that I'm supposed to be a king of this land and I am shy. Greetings. She is once again ready to give me a claim, so we'll go ahead and declare a new war. This man has a fair few more people on his side, but he's still not terribly strong. Let's uh, let's get our lady here to find another claim. It looks like this great area down here is quite strong. How strong are you in total? 590. Okay. Well, let's get you to fabricate a claim down this way now. I'm going to sneak, ar sneak around the coast. I'm sure everyone will be... Uh, fine with that. Let's go straight over to his capital and not his capital. Yes, his capital and let's hope that we can defeat his forces and it appears that we can. We are losing a few people, but not terribly many. Also, that's not me, is it? No, it's my uh, other commander there. Excellent, the first battle of the uh, Ajayon. We lost 53 people, we killed 123. My uh, champions did good. Well done. We didn't quite have an Achilles here, but Lenguart has done a good job. He is a dishonorable fool. Well, I don't mind sending fools off to die. 
Where is he? He leaves his meat, yes, but where is his land? Hang on a second. Let me have a look and see where his title is. Ah, he's the guy from down there. Excellent. Well, let's uh, go through with this siege here. It should be relatively easy to do. A new heir. My newborn son is my new heir. Why is he my heir and not my other son? With the babe cradled in your arms, Grazelia wipes tears from her cheeks and addresses me without taking her eyes off our son. Husband, let us name him Perseus after you. A lovely idea. Perseus it is. Terrific. Let's uh, allow her to take a uh, bit of, um, what's the word? Initiative and name the child there. Let's have a look at the uh, succession then. So it goes to him. Why? Primo Genich, our oldest child, inherits. Is that because he does not... Oh, he's my half-brother. He's not even my child. I understand now. I made a mistake earlier. He is my half-brother. Okay, so we do have a new heir. And this is Prince Perseus. Good man. Already got quite good. Marshal, not as quite good as me. If he had that point in finances, he would be better than me. Or stewardship, that's the correct word. He would already be better than me at it. Powerful vassals demand cancel positions. Let's see. We... Um they all appear. You are not actually a lord. Yes, you are. Okay, everyone's a lord, so let's not worry too much. Also, we are going to gain another bit of land, so let's change my wife to manage domain, see if we can hold an extra province, perhaps. We might not be able to, so we will have to likely look for somebody else to become a lord. 41%. I uh, wasn't even on the correct province. Well, let's go ahead and take this. Oh, where is he? He's not in my capital, is he? Because that has gone incredibly fast. I sure hope he's not on my capital, because that would be disastrous if it is. I will, however... Where am I? You. I'm going to move myself in charge of this army here. To ensure that we don't end up getting captured if this does happen. That's quite a fast siege you've got there, sirs. And we won't arrive for 51 days. This ends in 45 not the best. Can only expand in a friendly area. Yes, this isn't going to go well, is it? They are going to win a siege here. They might even take my son with them. No, we have scared them off. Excellent. Well, we just noticed in time. Let's go around and destroy their forces. Low quality. There's no uh, of our none of our champions here. Excellent, let's go in and uh, take that victory. We uh, killed two fewer than we lost. They did have champions here. So they were able to kill a fair few more people than we would have hoped. Let's bring these guys back around. Oh, my wife is pregnant again. Well, terrific. And we have won another siege. We'll go straight on to his next city. We'll have everyone begin the sieges over here. And we should win before anything else. We have another claim. That is the claim down here. We don't currently have the money, though. But we will see it done. And can we get out of court of prisoners? Let's see, you could be ransomed for 19 gold out of that much. You can be for 10, but they won't actually accept. They will accept for you, though, so I'll take... I won't take, we'll wait. As for you people, I could maybe try and... He doesn't appear to be anywhere. Let's see if we can invite you over. Negotiate your release for recruitment. Excellent, so he won't come to court. Oh, he's the guy we're attacking. I'm not used to the words here, so Domokoros, Domokoros is the uh, is lord in this language, okay. Oh, your wife is on my side now, sir. Who's this man? 14 gold out of that much. You are 19. I think, we're asking for, we're, I think we're asking for money directly from him, so let's go ahead and just do that. A good deal. I do want to win his uh, siege here. So we can assume to get all of the money. Let's ransom you now as well. The other doesn't seem to be going up. Can't get any money from you, that's a shame. A good deal. What about you? We cannot get 10 gold from you. We cannot get 10 gold from you. That's all well and good. You are a lowborn and you can't fight. So there's no point in me trying to hire you. We'll just simply win this siege. See if we can capture anyone else. See if we can ransom anyone else and then be on our way. Anybody captured? No, nobody knew here. So let's just go ahead and end the war. Demands enforced. We'll then disband our army. And we're going to have to give away this extra province. So let's have a look here. I do have a son. Oh, we do have champions. There is a Soros here. Not quite George, but 
still a Sol Ross. We could give him... He's a new defender, deceitful, brave, greedy. Well, you were fighting on the lines there. We could grant you the lands. Excellent. We'll go ahead and grant him that. He'll now be a lord under my command. Excellent. And then when... Uh, when we're next way, we're going to go to war with this man here as well. Does he have any allies? He does, but it doesn't quite raise the numbers, numbers above mine. So we'll simply declare war on him for our claims. In fact, could we go ahead and press more claims? Maybe not. So let's, let's press, press this anyway. And we'll go through this war in the next episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you are enjoying this campaign. If you are, you should subscribe. Subscribing keeps you up to date on all channel content. We're going to be having a very uh, fun campaign here as we try to create a grand kingdom. All of this land here should all be under our control relatively easily. I mean, we've already taken, was it three provinces? One, two, three. No, just two. These guys as well, but whatever. Hopefully we'll be able to create some high lordships and then be able to uh, vassalize some other lords. But yes, thank you for watching. I hope you are enjoying this. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you again. Goodbye.